Hello, guys. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. good evening. Good evening. Excellent. Okay, well, so it seems like according to the WhatsApp messages, we're going to be just a few today, right? We're just gonna have a few students. Yeah. Just let me check here my camera again. Just give me one second. Okay, so from the group that I have today, Daisy, Janira, Daisy, Janira, Tatiana are not going to participate. So let's wait for the others. Now, yesterday we were working with the past tense. We did a lot of practice uh, about the past tense. I also would like to know if you have a question about it. No? Questions about the past? No questions? Hi. Okay, Tatiana, I think I'm gonna put you on mute. Thank you. So let's start with our class for today. Okay. <clears throat> Let me share my computer. Can you see right now uh, the book? Yes? Yes, please. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you, Carol. So what we're going to do right now is to work on an email, right? This is an email about a customer's problem, right? Very easy. Now, but let's go ahead and read the email together, right? This email says that is to peter at jmail.com. The subject is complaint about a trip and it's from Hazer dot rg at gmail dot jmail dot com right so joanna can you read the email for us please okay last week i had the chance to travel with your company uh, to another country teacher está tapando a glass okay last week i had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned, assigned me, I didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Very good, thank you so much, Joanna. So this person is very upset, right, about the experience that he had with the transportation, right? So right now we're going to check as well, right, some of the sentences that we have in past. Um, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, give me a moment. Let's see, Emerson. Can you tell us, read the email, please, and tell us if you see a sentence in simple past? Okay, miss. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing like, I have the chance to travel with you, company. Okay, very good. I had the chance to travel with your company. Okay, very good. 
Right, this is the sentence, excellent. Right, the Emerson. What about you, Javier? Can you tell me another sentence? In simple past? It was a, it was a bad experience. It was the, a bad experience. Uh -huh. Very good. It was a bad experience. Right. Then we continue. Right. Uh, Joanna, can you tell me another example? Joanna. Uh, the, I don't understand, teacher. Can you tell me another example of a sentence that you see in past in the email? Ah, uh, okay. It it was a long trip. It was a long trip. Excellent. Just was okay. Okay. It was a long trip. Very okay. well. Let's see another one. Uh, we have. Jose Alexander, are you participating? No? Okay, I think not. Uh, let's see, Carol, tell us another example of a sentence. Excuse me, miss. Carol, can you tell us an example of a sentence in past in the email? Uh, and, and the bus, I, no, I am. I am, is this past okay. tense? I was. Uh-huh. Uh, considering not, not But this is. This is I am, not I was. It says here I am. I, I need am. you to identify a sentence that is in past already. I know that. An example of past tense, please. An example. Look at the email and tell me an example. For example, here Emerson said I had the chance Javier said it was a bad experience. Joanna, it was a long trip. What's another example, Carol? I was considered. No, traveling. because here it says I am, not I, I was. Um, Tell me the examples in past. I don't know me. Read the email. Read I the will. email. Okay? Read. Okay. Look at the verse in past. Tell me an example from the email. From. No lo traduzca. Solo trata de entender lo que le estoy diciendo. No se traduzca, por eso se está confundiendo. <laughs> uh -huh. uh. Look at the example. Emerson said, I had is in past. It was is in past. It was is in past. I am is present, so it's not okay. So what could be another example? Look at the other sentences. We have a lot of sentences here, right? But to be honest with you, because the bus you assigned me, it didn't have AC, the bus was very slow. So what are the other examples? Mm -hmm. Can you see a verb in past, in simple past, in the email? Uh, in simple past, the email. Yes, we're working in simple past, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Simple past. Assignate. Assignate. Very good. Assignate. Um... Exactly. Right? The bus that you assigned didn't have AC, right? Okay. The bus that you Sorry, assigned. Sorry, please. 
Didn't it's okay, but you need to try to read, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. Now, this one is correct, assign. Very good. Now, please delete this word because it's not correct. You assign me, didn't have a C. Este in no está. Right? Now, we're going to read the email, and based on this email, right? Based on the email, we answer the three questions. Question number one. Can you read question number one, Joanna? Question number two, Javier, and question number three, Caro. Uh, where near the passenger go? Mm -hmm. Javier? Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? Example. Okay. And Emerson? Okay. What did the, the passenger consider its bad experience? Example. Example. Okay. Uh, but you are going to read number uh, three, Carol. What did the passenger send that email? What did the passenger send in that email? What did the passenger send in that email? Here, please put in. <clears throat> in that email, right? Now, what are the answers based on this email? Let's read the email together, right? And then you are going to answer individually, okay? Let's try to answer. Who is, ah, uh, this is Alexander, creo yo. Hello, teacher. Hello. I am driving go to my house. Okay. This moment. Okay. Okay, did you answer the questions? Please tell me. Permítame un momento.
You finished already? Finish, Miss. Okay, Emerson finish. What about the others? Finish, Miss. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Emerson go with number two. Joanna with no, sorry. Emerson with number one and Joanna with number two. Where did the passenger okay, go? Was the, the passenger traveled to the other country, not specific where. Okay. He travel to another country, right? Yes. Very good, thank you. Uh, Joanna, why did the passenger uh, consider it, it's a bad experience? The bus did not have air conditioned. Condition. Oh. Okay, didn't have AC, okay? AC, okay. Okay. repeat. Okay, Very AC. Good. AC. That's one one reason, right? What is another reason? Uh, let's see, Carol. What is another reason why it was a bad experience? Because because uh, your assignment uh, didn't have AC. Yeah, we already put that. It's here. That's one. Tell us another one, another example. The in companies, in companies in the travel. Okay, what were the inconveniences in the travel? That's my question. Read the email. Long, long trip. It was a long trip. Okay. It was a long trip. Excellent, Carol. Very good. What is another example? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Is that Abigail? Hi, teacher. Voy llegando. Se le corta, Sara. Voy llegando del trabajo. Ahorita me voy conectando. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. okay. Let's see. Bueno, solo ustedes están, así que otra vez. Joana. <laughs> What was another reason? <laughs> Uh, the bus uh, was very slow. The bus was very slow. Excellent. Thank you. Javier, okay. go with number three. What's the answer to what did the passenger send in that email? Well, it shouldn't be. Let, let's change this question. This is so weird. Why? Why did the passenger consider? What did the person send in that email? Mm -hmm. He he considered not traveling. He considered not traveling again. Okay, very good. Again. He considered not traveling again with them right because it was bad excellent very good guys excellent job that's pretty good job thank you so much right 
he considered not traveling again with them. Now, we are going to continue checking here, right? We're going to continue checking here and we are going to work with the WH questions, right? Before we start with the WH questions, I want you to remember what they are for, right? We have WH questions, right? Here, we're gonna put them in the middle. And for the WH questions, right? Give me a moment. For the WH questions, we're gonna have here. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Where? Who? Which, when, we're gonna also have how, right? Mm -hmm. Hello? Then we're gonna have, which one am I missing? Oh, what, right? What? And we know that with how, we have how many, how much, how long, right? Many more questions. But tell me, when are you going to use these questions? For example, here, I remember that I am going to use why to ask for reason, right? To ask for reason. That's when I'm gonna, or for reasons, right? That's when I'm, I'm, I'm going to use it for. What about the others? When are you going to use the others? Mm-hmm. Uh, me teacher. Yes. Where is to ask for a place? Where is to ask for place? To ask for place slash location, right? For place or location. Very good. Excellent. What about the others, guys? Mm hmm. Who to ask for a person or someone? Okay, excellent, Vladimir. Who to ask to ask for a person or people? Right, very good, Vladimir. Okay, people, let's see the others. When, dun, dun, dun. Uh, when is to ask uh, for place? When? Uh -huh. Because that's where. Oh, perdón, when, perdón. Es, where? It's time. Yeah. To ask for time, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Or periods of time. Okay. Okay, very good. Joanna, excellent job. Mm -hmm. You're on which, fire, guys. Uh -huh. Which? Which to ask for uh, situations. For situations, very good. In this case, slash options, right? Actions. Options, choices, right? Choices. Very good. <laughs> what about what and how? To ask for metal? Process. For process, okay. To ask for processes. Very good. That's how. To ask for process, to ask for manner, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. What about what? What as for things? To ask for things in general, right? Very good. Things in general. Excellent. Very good. Give an applause to yourself. Thus, each question has a purpose, right? Each question 
has a purpose and you did amazing right now. Now, using this, right, we already know that these are our WH questions, our WH words, right? We know when we make questions, right, that we are going to use the structure of the WH word plus did. Oops. plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. This is our structure, right? This is what we need to make our exam, right? WH word, plus deed, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. This is the most uh, important. Now, we have another one, right? in which we are going to put here WH word, right? Plus verb. We don't have we don't have to use did here plus verb in past plus subject plus complement, right? So how Sylvia, how can we do this? There are some specific WH words that we're gonna use here. Here mostly we have the same, right? For example, we can have uh, why did you eat all the food? Right. Why do you eat all the food? WH word plus did plus subject plus verb plus complement. Right. But here we have, for example, which. Which color right uh which color we're gonna put it here sorry we're gonna put it here now we can put it here which color do you like right in pass right also this one sometimes and i need you to please pay attention pay attention Sometimes this is for speaking, right? For speaking, not for grammar, okay, for speaking. But also we can have the same structure, right? Here. And we are going to put the same, right? Plus D plus verb, plus subject, plus complement. Look what we're going to do here, right? We're gonna take the same question. Which color, right? This is not the speaking, this is going to be writing, writing. Writing is more formal, right? Which color did you like? Right, so here we have an option for speaking, speaking and writing with this type of question, right? This is very, very common, but when we speak, when we write, this is the best option, okay? Now, do you understand this part? Can you give me an example, please? One example in the chat. Ask questions right now. For example, I would say, um, Joanna, what did you eat today in the morning? I ate, um, Hi. I ate uh, cereal and milk and banana. <laughs> Cereal, milk, and banana. Oof, delicious. Big and Joanna, right? I ate cereal, milk, and bananas. Perfect. Um, Javier, what, what was the first activity in your job today? In the job today, um... Mm -hmm. I checked 
checked my email. I checked my email. Very good, Javier. Right, very good. What did you do in the afternoon, Bernardo? Drink coffee. I drank a cup of coffee. I drank a cup of coffee. Very good. Excellent, right? Simple questions. So I need you to write those questions in the chat. Let's do them. One example, try to put the answer to. Try to write the answer. Okay, we have one example. Why did you listen to Bad Bunny? Oof, because he has good music to dance. What else? What else? Oh, yesterday, what did they drink wine in the, at work, at work. Why did you like to do sport? Emerson, what are you forgetting in the verb? Is this there? Why did you like to do sport? What happens to the verb, Emerson? Which class, which kind? I would say what kind? Like this, uh, Javier, what kind of, what kind of wine did you prefer? What kind of, what kind of, where did you buy your shoes? I bought my shoes in El Mercado de Zacate. Okay. When when did you cook for me? Very good. Where did you work last year? Oof, in many places. Mm -hmm. Okay. Emerson, did you check the verb? Yes, sorry. When did you do your homework? Back in 2020, because I haven't had classes for two years. Let's keep on making questions here, right? We're doing exercise five right now, making questions. What did you, how did you, why did you, right? Why do you like to do sport? What ingredient does a tree, does a tres leches dessert have? That's a perfect question, Carla, but it's not in simple pass. I need you to write your question in simple pass. We're working in the pass, okay? Okay. 
who cooked the dinner today? Very good, Bernardo. Okay, who cooked the dinner today? I cooked the dinner. Because my husband was in a party. Can you believe that? Well, the dinner was for me only, so I'm fine. Okay, let's check. Me ausentaré un momento. That's not English. Tengo una situación en mi casa. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, perfect. So we just did this, right? How to use past information questions, right? As we can see, we're giving, we're connecting the WH words, the meaning of the WH words, words to the answers that we're looking for, right? Now, based on this, right? We're gonna do this vocabulary in a moment, okay? That's, that's fine, right? We're going to do that one right now, but I would like you to practice with me. Okay. <laughs> no, this is not the one. No, this is the one. Can you see? No, this is the verse. Okay. Give me a moment. I'll give you the quiz in a moment. Let's see. Why did you like the vegetable? Oh, because vegetables are delicious. Vegetables are the best thing in the world. Okay, we're gonna do an activity right now. Right, this activity is also about practicing, right? And we're going to practice a little bit of what we have done today, right? Just give me a second. Here we are. Give me a moment. Okay, I want you to look at this picture right now, please. We're gonna work right now on this. Can you see my computer? Yes, miss. Yes, yeah. okay, yes. very good, very good. So what are we gonna do here? It's just past simple, regular verbs, right? We're gonna see different options there and we're going to check them out, right? This is supposed to be like the average that you should have, right? With very simple, we just need to select what is the best option. We're going to do that individually, okay? Individual work. So let me just send you right now these two WhatsApp, right? So you can have it available there. Just give me one second. Just making sure it's this one. I think it is. Oh, yes. One moment. Okay. Okay, so I just sent to you where it says past simple regular verse is a grammar quiz, right? That you're going to select. I need you to do that individually, right? Did you receive it? Yes? Okay, yes. now yes. individually. Yes, I'm not going to speak. I'm not going to say anything right now. Just quiet. We're going to have five minutes to check on that. While you do that, I will call the attendance. Okay? 
Let me call the attendance so we can go ahead and check together. <clears throat> Okay, have Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz? Present. Daisy Elizabeth Resino Alvarez? Present, teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez? Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes? Present. Emerson Ulises. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix? Present, Miss. Thank you. Francisco Sánchez López? Francisco Sánchez, Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro, Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García, Jacqueline, okay, so we have zero, 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 okay. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales, present teacher, José Alexander Hernández Carvajal, present, José Bernardo López Montes, Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carla Elizabeth Calante Enriquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Oscar Noé Magaña. Sara Vigay López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. Wendy Marlene, Janira del Carmen, Present teacher. Pablo Adalberto. Okay, so we got there, right? Our attendance. Do you have the answers now? No? ¿Te tienes respuestas? Ya casi. <laughs> okay, let's do this activity individually. Yes, Joanna? Yes. You finish? Yes, me. Excellent. You see, it's easy PC. We're going to check in a moment.
Let me know whenever you finish, please. Finish, miss. Finish me. Okay, shall we check? Javier, are you done? Carla? No? They say yes, finish. Oh, they say listeners only. Jose, Pablo, Sara. Number 12. Okay. Give me a moment. Okay, guys, so let's check here the answer. Sorry for the convenience. I had to open the door. <laughs> Just give me a sec. I think my computer knows that today is Friday, which is kind of crazy today. Now let's check here, okay? It says number one, right? I need you to read the answer, read the question and the answer, okay? So I can select the best option. So we're gonna start here with number one and two, just making sure. Javier, Joanna, Emerson, Carol, Jose, Vladimir, Tatiana, are you participating? No. No, no. mi este es okay. mi trabajo, pero estoy escuchando. Okay. So Vladimir yes. Eh, José yes. Sara yes. Pablo, are you participating? Are you ready? Okay. Now, let's go ahead and check. Eh, let's start with you, Joana. Question number one and two. My classmate and I ask or teach her a question about the test. Okay, very good. Asked. Let Repeat. Me. Asked. Asked. Okay. Very good. John, uh, what is the pronunciation? One. Continue. Continue. John, wa John wanted to when? Word yesterday, but he was sick. 
Okay. Very good. Wanted. That's perfect. Okay. Thank okay. you, Anna. Number three and four, Emerson. Okay. Date. They didn't walk to the park because they were very tired. Okay. And uh, number four. Did you talk? Did you talk to the boss? Your boss? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. Yes, I did. Now let's go with five and six. Five and six, Javier. Number six. And number did five, two. Five and six. Yes, sir. Okay, number five. He he waited 20 minutes for the bus yesterday. Okay, he waited 20 minutes for the waited. bus yesterday. Very good. Number six. Did they fix their bicycles? Mm. Yes, they fix it. Okay. Yes, they fixed. Okay, thank you, Javier. Six. Uh, Eugenia, go with seven and eight. Eight. Where did you go to a school when you were young? Mm -hmm. Eight. They like to go camping in a park when they were children. Okay, they like. Right. Two. <clears throat> oh, letter B. Letter C. 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 Okay. B. They like to. They like to go camping in a park. Okay, Carla. Let's continue with number nine. Is Sara? Nine and ten. Nine. Nine and ten. I had to. Cook dinner last night, so I could, couldn't watch the TV program. Number 10. Did you finish the book? No, I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, now let's continue with number 11 and 12, Alexander. Okay. Why didn't you wash the dirty dishes last week? And he went to see a dentist yesterday because he had a toothache. Okay. He wants to or he wanted to? He wanted to. He wanted to. Okay, thank you. Now let's go with 13 and 14, Carol. Uh, I I was stayed at the library very late last night. Mm -hmm. Mr. Okay. Johnson, Mr. Johnson chose no, no. Mr. Johnson chose literacy mm -hmm. for help when he fell in the water. Okay. Number 15, please. Who else is missing? Uh, let's repeat, let's repeat. One for Joanna, number 15, and another one for Alexander, number 16. Number 15 is uh, she didn't answer the phone because she uh, didn't hear it ring. Very good. She didn't hear it ring. Thank you, Joanna. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Alexander? 
I didn't play tennis yesterday because I don't know how to play tennis. Okay, you go with A or C? C, C. With C. Okay, I didn't play. Now let's go ahead and check, okay? Now, these are the answers that you are giving me right now, right? If we check, I'm just gonna put here the ones that need to be, that are correct, okay? I'm gonna check the ones that are correct. Number one, right? My classmate Inas asked, correct? John wanted to, went to work, incorrect. They didn't walk to the park, very good, this is correct. Did you talk to your boss? Yes, I did. Short answer. He waited 20 minutes for the bus yesterday. Excellent. Did they fix their bicycles? Yes, they did. Right? Yes, they did. So we have a short answer. Yes, he did. Yes, she did, etc. Right? That's a short answer. Where did you go to school when you were young? Right, they like to go camping, excellent, right? I had to cook dinner. Now, remember that the verb in pass is have, right? So the answer is letter A. Did you finish the book? No, I didn't, right? Why didn't you wash the dirty dishes last week? Very good. He wanted to see a dentist. I stayed at the library very late last night. Stayed, right, stay. Was a stay is incorrect. That's only passive voice. Eso solamente se ve en los últimos niveles. La voz pasiva. Y lleva un montón de arreglos, right? So remember, when we have the sentences, subject, verb, complement, right? Simple. Mr. Johnson, Shouted for help when he felt in the water. Yes, very good. Shouted. She didn't answer the phone because she didn't hear it ring. Very good. I didn't play tennis yesterday because I don't know how to play tennis. Very good. These are the answers, right? These are, well, these are the ones that are correct. Let's check the whole answers. I'm gonna show you right now the whole answers. Give me a moment, that's my, my, Disculpen que se me atravesó un estornudo. Uh. Okay, now we're gonna check the answers in a moment, right? These are the answers that we should have. Please check them out on your on your uh, book and tell me what is your percentage. I think you are going to be most of you are going to be like here and up, right? These are going to be your percentage. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Check them out. Revísenlas. Corríjanlas, por favor.
Did you check right now? What's your score, oh, eh, Joanna? What do you have? 14, teacher. 14, yes. Perfect, perfect. And you, Carla? 30. 30. Or 13. 13. 13. Perfect, perfect. That's good. 13 is good. 13 is very good. And you, Carol, what do you have? Uh, 12. 12. Nice. 12 is good. Yes, of course. Okay. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Javier? 75%. 75%. Perfect. You see? Percentage. Good. Now we're going to continue working. Okay. We're going to continue working now that we have see this small quiz, right? And it sounds like you understood what the quiz is about, right? Now, what we're going to do is the following. We have right now, oh, sorry. Do you understand why you these answers are incorrect? Or do you have questions about the, 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 the answers here? ¿Entienden por qué son así las respuestas? Or do you have questions? If you do, please let me know. No questions. Yes, you should have a question. Okay, <clears throat> Eugenia Nova, Javier, yes, tell me. Uh, um, yes, uh, uh, the number six. Uh -huh. I have this fixed. Mm -hmm. What is your question? Uh, the question. Uh, uh, because he did. LG number one, I I understand. And the, uh, yeah, yes, this is, yeah. This is the answer. So, uh, then, uh, two, number 30, 13. This, uh -huh. this is the answer. Yes, they did. And number 13, 13, 13. Oh, uh -huh. because we don't put the verb to be plus another verb. The structure goes like this, right? Subject plus verb. It goes like subject plus verb plus complement, right? That's what we're using here. The verb can be regular or irregular. The other one is subject plus verb B plus complement. Two different structures, both are in past. So I can say here, I stay late, or I can also say, I was home. I, here, I don't use a verb. This is not supposed to be a verb. So that's why we have it like this, okay? Every time that you have this structure, right? You need to remember subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, be, complement. Two different structures. Is that clear, Javier? Yes, it's a more or less. More or less. No, that's not good. That's not good. Let's check. Let's go back. That's not good. Tell me an example in past with the verb be. Tell me an example. I was in the story yesterday. I was? In the story yesterday. In the story? In the yesterday. Story? No. Remember, subject plus verb B plus complement. What do we do? Yo les envié a ustedes un cuadrito donde decía el uso del verbo to be. ¿Lo leyeron? Uh -huh. 
no lo leyeron. Yo creo que lo estoy haciendo bien, solo que quiero decir estadio. Yo estuve en el estadio ayer. I was in the stadium yesterday. Very good. Stadium. Stadium, okay. Story stadium. very good. I was in the stadium. Stadium. Yesterday. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. I was in the stadium yesterday. Now, in this example, right, that we have here, we only have these forms, right? The subject, right? We have the subject, we have our verb be in past, and we have the complement, right? That's all we need for this example, right? That's all we need. So we go like subject, right? We have also there the complement and the verb be. I was in the stadium yesterday. Now with the other example, now let's go ahead and write an example with a complete sentence with a verb. Tell me an irregular verb, Javier. Irregular verb. Bite. Bite. Um. Bite. Okay, bite. What is the past tense of bite, Bernardo? Búscalo, búscalo, repito. Bite, bite. You have dictionaries. Bitten. That's past participle. Put there, everyone. Oh, put, uh -huh. put there on Google. Past tense of bite. What's the past tense of bite? Beat. Beat. Okay. Beat. Uh, my dog beat a child. <laughs> beat a child last night. No, well, no, my dog. My neighbor's dog. Mis perritos no. La nieve sí del vecino. My neighbor's dog beat a child last night. Esto es cierto, chicos. Esto es cierto. Right? So we got there. What is the verb here? What is the verb, Javier? Beat. Beat. Okay. We have the verb. Right? We know that this is a irregular verb, right? In past, right? What is the subject? My neighbors. Dog. My neighbors? Dog. My dog. neighbors, dog, that's the subject. Very well. And what's the complement? Uh, a child of the last night. A child last night. Se murió el niño. No, mentira. A child last night. So we go there, right? We know that this is this goes like this, right? Now, what am I what, what I'm trying to do here is to let you know, right? Or for you to identify that after the verb be, we are going to have location here, right? After the verb be. We're going to have location, description, time, weather, but we are not going to have another verb, right? That's pretty clear. We can have a preposition, but not another verb, okay? So let's copy this. Javier, is it a little bit clear now? Yes, teacher. You sure? Se esconde, no se esconda. Yes. Se esconde. yes, yes. Ok. <ríe> si está en su derecho a preguntar, usted pregunte todo lo que necesite preguntar, ok? So, does anybody have another question about this exercise? No questions. Ok. So, this is an exercise about regular verbs, right? Regular verbs. Let's check pronunciation because the pronunciation was not good. Okay, so let's check pronunciation. 
And I need, Carol, repeat after me, okay? You're going to help me, you and Sara are going to help me, okay? Now, first Carol and then Sara. So let's start, Carol. Okay. Asked. 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 Went. Went. Didn't walk. Didn't walk. 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 China walk. Walk. Didn't walk, right? Talked. 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 Okay. Did. Did. Was. Was. Waited. 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 Okay, fixed. Fixed. Where? Where? Didn't like. Didn't like. Liked. Didn't like. Okay, liked. Liked. Very good. Thank you, Carol. Thank you very much. Everyone, yo no lo vi practicando. Creo que es por telepatía. Se les va a ir quedando. Yo solo lo voy escuchando. Practiquen, cipotes, practiquen. Thank you, Carol. Let's go. Sara, are you available right now? Ah, oh, está de oyente, puso ahí. Ok, veamos. Oh, eh, estoy... Ah, sí está. Sí. Ok. Let's go, Sara. We're going to go here. Cooked. 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 Ok. Let's go with wasn't. Wasn't. Didn't. Didn't. Weren't. Weren't. Wanted to. Wanted to. Stayed. 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 Shouted. Shouted. Didn't. Didn't. Wearing. Weren't. Wasn't. Wasn't. Didn't, weren't, wasn't. Didn't, weren't, wasn't. Okay. Didn't play. Didn't play. Played. Played. There you are. Thank you so much. Very good. So we got the pronunciation of uh, regular verbs, right? We have the meaning of those words. Now we're gonna work with the irregular verse, right? Irregulars. Now, yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, I gave you this list of verbs, right? Did I give you this list? Yes, right? No? I think I did. Okay, let me put it here. I'm gonna put you here with the list of verbs in pass, okay? So, we had, for example, here we have be, was, where, become, became, begin, began, bite, beat, etc., etc., etc. What are you going to do? Right now, we are practicing WH questions, right? WH questions. So, what are we going to do? We are going to choose here different verbs how many questions we have we have here one two three four five six seven okay so you are going to select seven verbs different verbs okay you are going to write seven questions each question should have an answer so we have seven questions seven answers per group, right? So if I am working with Joanna and Carla, we are going to have seven questions only, not 21, seven, seven, and seven, no. Only seven per group, is that clear? So I'm going to choose, for example, let's say uh, irregulars, where I'm going to choose the word, the verb, eat, 
right? I'm going to choose here, eat, eight, okay. Uh, who? Read, read, right? This is for me, this is for me. What, oh, uh, write, wrote, et cetera, et cetera. So what are you going to do after that? Because you're going to choose seven verbs. After you do that, you are going to write a question and an answer. For example, here, it says, eat a, where did you eat tacos? Um, where did you eat tacos in your last vacation? Okay, I ate tacos in Mexico, city right for example i have my question and i have my answer the same is going to be for all of the other questions the same is that clear is it clear what we're going to do what you are going to do ¿Se entiende lo que van a hacer? is it clear yeah. okay Yo lo voy a andar viendo. No quiero ver Google traductores, por favor, que no les ayuden en nada. Los atrasan. Okay. Usen los diccionarios. No se ríe, José Alexander. Ya lo he visto. No, mentira. So, don't use Google Translator, please. Si usted no sabe una palabra, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Les voy a mostrar. I'm going to open up something here. Okay. This is what we're going to do if we don't know a word. Look at this. Oh, I... It says be it, be it, okay? Be it is bite, right? Bye, bye, oh my God, bite, verb, okay? I go to Google Images, right? Google Image, not translator. Yo no fue el traductor, right? What is the meaning of bite? Um, right? to bite, usually a dog. Look at the pictures, right? With the pictures, we understand the meaning. Look, it can be a dog biting a person or a person biting another person, right? That we say, oh, teacher, what is the meaning of right? Right, bird. okay, right, look, right, okay, right. What is the meaning of right? I can see the picture, right? I don't have to use the translator. No estoy utilizando un traductor. You see the difference? Right? So you need to know the concept. En inglés usted debe conocer el concepto, no la traducción, porque todas las palabras se utilizan con base en contexto. Okay? Now, let's continue. Do we understand what we're going to do? Yes? Did you take a picture of the words, of the verse? Yes? 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 I think I'm gonna send you this list, okay? I think I can do that. Let me check. Let me check if I can. I think this was just survey. Oh yes, I can. Give me a moment. Okay, you got it. You got it there. ATG quiz pass irregular, right? We just practice with regulars, now with irregular verbs. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna work in groups, right? Yo sé que algunos no están trabajando en grupos. Ahorita entonces vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Emerson, sí, Joana también, José y Yanira, Yanira no, ¿verdad? Elena, no. Bernardo, sí. Luis, sí. 
Carla, Carol y Sara, sí. Ok, perfecto. Entonces vamos a hacer algo. Number three. I'm ready. You're ready. Ok, perfect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Give me a moment. Oscar Noé va a participar este día. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Give me a moment, guys. Give me a moment. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's get to work. Ten minutes. Let's go. No, 15 minutes is not 10. I think 10 is going to be fine. Let's go. Choose your group, choose your group. Emerson, select your group. Carol, Pablo. Carol, go to your group. Bow, bow, creo que es con Carol. Eh, bye. Sí, bye. Bow. Ajá, pero es como ahorita usamos el did, la respuesta. Where did, Where did you bow? Eh, oh. the, cell phone or, the cell phone ah. uh -huh. and, uh, uy, entonces voy a poner entonces, la pregunta la pregunta el verbo se mantiene en su base la respuesta Ajá. aquí verdad uh -huh. I bought the cell phone at yes. his cell monster. Uh, okay, just that. Okay. I want to buy in pair two. When did you? Did you do your homework? I did my homework yesterday. No, my... Aquí se me fue, aquí se me fue una y de, de más. Sí. Porque no me pareció. Why didn't you go to work yesterday? Because I was, I was sick. Ya están todas aquí. Va, eh, la primera es así. Y me fue una. Ahorita la vamos a chequear acá para acabar cuatro. 
tres faltarían. Ya la veo bien. Sí. Ajá, la primera de, de modificar ahí mandé la. la... Yes, what did you buy your shoes? I want to vote in part dos. What is incorrect in number three? Check it out. How many gifts do you aquí? No. Chow. English. Is Maricela. No, pero la pregunta, y está entonces, ¿pero qué dice la pregunta? ¿Quién, quién le, le enseña inglés en la noche? A ella. Ajá. Ella, o sea, ¿quién nos, quién nos enseña inglés? In this case, I think you're missing a word at the end. It would be, who did she teach English at night to? She I taught too. English at night to, to someone, to students, to... Right. Oh, yes, just like that. Perfect. Bye. Thank you. No. She taught English. No, 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 no. Who did she taught English at night to? She taught English to. ¿A quién le enseñó ella inglés? Uh, to, uh, to a student. Uh -huh. To students from El Salvador? I don't know. Give more information. To a student from English. Uh, oh, yes, very good. English corporative, uh, proper name. Así se deja, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, Tim. Uh -huh. She out. Ah, no, no lo escribí bien. No, sí está bien. No, está mal, ¿verdad? She, okay. she, oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sí, ese es como... Sí. Oh. Ah, no, era Ava. Oh. Es que no se ve bien ahí. T-A-U-T-A-T-H-T. Ah, ese está bien. What... ¿Qué? 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 Did... Eh, what? ¿Qué cantó? O algo así, eh, si lo ponemos sin... Sí. Creo que es, es in en vez de at. Perdón. Creo. Uy, levita. Ay, no. Ay, sí. Eh, perdón, es. I sung. I sung. Está en pasado. Mm -hmm. Bueno, yo digo que sí. You are. You are. Uh, you are... Okay. Is other. When? 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 Puedes vender. 
room when when you say when cuando when Así ah, si usamos room. Solo que, eh, ¿cómo se fue? Vamos a ver. Oh, what, what did they room? The marathon. Podría ser algo así. ¿o? Ay. Sí. Y entonces es. Eh, they eh, ran eh, on November eh, así así creo que es sí oh, estas me gustan a mí How, what is, how is, how is, como, como, mm -hmm. how, how did, eh, eh, he, eh, como eh, algo es como creo como de hacer verdad uh -huh. es make ready with my answer. Teacher, hello, teacher. Yes, yes, Sara. Eh, el verbo en pasado de ir. Ahí están abajo en la segunda página. Ok, ahorita reviso. Mm -hmm. Here, her. Dele para abajo. ¿Quién está compartiendo pantalla? Déjeme ver. No, en este caso sería eh, go, de ir, viajar. Oh, go, it's went. Go. Went, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Todos okay. están ahí. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, gracias. <ríe> go, went. Como dice ir, pensé que ir, de here. Ahí como escuchar. No. <ríe> <ríe> I okay. went.
Emerson, ya están las siete. Ahorita la reviso. Y si nos presta la pantalla para siete. tomar la lectura. Sí, cierto. Sí. Si no se la cuando el grupo, si quiere. Ah, bueno. ¿Está bien? Ya se lo mando. Ok, thank you. Okay, and so I was looking at some good examples with questions. Right, let's check. Lo que pasa es que los que se les del hogar lo vuelven a uno con. Lo vuelven a uno loco. ¿Qué le digo yo? Dígame a mí. Ah, es que es cierto, <laughs> lavar platos cuesta. <laughs> Okay. <risa> Hacer comida, lavar, cocina, cuidar los chuchitos. Hacer ejercicio. Too crazy for me, too crazy. Okay. <risa> Now, let's see. Let's see. Now, uh, yo, le, before we continue, it's 944, so let's check here. Carlos Vladimir. No, Carlos Vladimir is not here. Daisy Elizabeth. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco. Present, Vladimir. Oh, Elena Guadalupe Andrade. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Francisco Sánchez. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth, ¿eh? ¿ah? Mi teacher. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro. Mi teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth. Present, Miss. Luis Javier. Here, Miss. Manuel Alfredo. Oscar Noé. Present teacher. Sara Vigail. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivón. I am here, Miss. Wendy Ivón. Wendy Marlene. Ya necesito lente. Yanira del Carmen. Present. Pablo Adalberto. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, did I miss someone? Mencioné a alguien mal o me hace falta alguien? Vladimir. Ok. Vladim Carlos Vladimir, sí. Me, me, me dijeron. ¿Alguien que no haya mencionado? ¿No? ¿Todos? ¿Estamos bien? Ok. Let us continue. What we're going to do right now is that we're going to share some of the examples that you have there. Right? I heard very good examples. So let's uh listen to some of them joanna what's one of your examples yes of course okay yes yes go um voy a decir si gusta oscar yo digo las preguntas y usted las respuestas good Oscar. Okay. Uh, where did you buy the cell phone? I bought the cell phone at Mobis. Who did she teach English at night too? 
She taught English to students from English Corporativo. What do you sing in the karaoke? I sang You Are Beautiful by James Brown. Uh, when did they run the marathon? You ran on November uh, 25. Who did he make the report? He made the report in Microsoft Excel. Only me. Very good job. Excellent examples. Thank you so much. Everyone, if you want to take a screenshot or something, right, so you can have it there, right? Who wants to go next? Thank you, Alexander, for raising your hand. Julio, are you ready? Yes. Okay, number one, where did you buy your shoes? I buy in, in, in Pardos. Number two, when did you do your homework? I did homework yesterday. Number three, how many gifts did you receive on your birthday? I received many gifts. Number four, why didn't, didn't you go to work yesterday? I didn't go to work because I was sick. Number five, who did cook the breakfast yesterday? Elsa Mendoza cooked the, cooked the breakfast. Number six, what did happen in the party last Saturday? It's happening a lot, a lot of things. And number seven, which dress did your mother use at Christmas? Which dress? Hello. My mother used the new dress. Okay. Now let's continue. Thank you so much. I'm putting here some changes that you need to make. Right. This is for everyone. Everyone. Remember, if you want to ask the subject of the sentence, you only put who plus the verb. Who cooked the breakfast? Joanna cooked the breakfast. Who cooked the breakfast? Joanna did. Joanna, because that's the, the, the answer that we want. It's a subject. So, recuerdan la semana pasada que vimos subject questions? Same, right? So, we can say, who finished the homework? Carla. Who didn't finish the homework. Oh, Bernardo didn't, right? So we are asking for the person. So we need to focus on the person. And what happened? What did happen? No, what happened? Right, esa pregunta siempre la vamos a utilizar de la misma forma. What happened, right, without this. Very good job, thank you so much. Excellent. Next part, next group. We have two groups already. Another group. Okay, Carla Eugenia, hey, that's the attitude. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, what did, what did she buy in the supermarket? ¿Quién le va a contestar el cipote? ¿No tiene equipo él? Carla. Carla, ¿su micrófono? Excuse me, excuse me, no, no, lo había encendido. She bought groceries and milk. Where did he leave the cell phone? left his cell phone in the sofa. 
Why did you sell your car? I sold the car because it was old. When did she go to Spain? She went last year. When did they pay the bike? They paid last week. That's Excellent it. job. Thank you so much. You just have to put there on the sofa, on the sofa, right? Because a small letter, question mark at the end, they paid it last week. And milk is part of the groceries. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's, it's okay. part of the gros groceries, right? If you buy groceries, usually you buy milk, right? Very good. good. And I think we only have one more group. Sara, did you participate already? Solo el grupo de Sara no falta, creo. Okay, there you are. Yes, Okay, and uh, why did you cut your hair? Because I bought to have it long. Where fell the store last Sunday? Was fell in Santa Ana. What did she say? She said, what a beautiful day. Vladimir. Okay. Where did Where you? Did... Mm -hmm. go. Where did they go? They went to Canada. What did you buy in the store's post? I bought a jacket. What did you do on your trip to Europe? Europa. I went to Ricardo Arajona concert. Okay. Only that. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Don't take it off. Just give me a moment. Okay. Okay. Very good. You got it there. Right. I went to a Ricardo Arjona concert. But it's, it's cheaper in Guatemala. In Guatemala, it's more barato because you're in Europe. Right? Very good. Thank you so much. Right? We have examples. Check the, the, the changes there. When With the changes, we are going to say, uh, where did it rain? Where did it rain in Santa Ana? Where did it rain in Santa Ana? It was a store. Uh, Europe. No, Europa. Europe. Europe. And I was bored of having it long. I was bored of having it long. I was bored. Bored is not a verb, it's an adjective. Okay? Very good. Now, we have those answers there. In our book, what is the book? What is the book? Okay. In our book, I want you to uh, keep on practicing here. Can you see the book? Can you see the book? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This is vocabulary. This is practice that you can do at home. Creo que podemos utilizar el tiempo de clase para otras actividades. Este es muy importante, pero podemos hacerlo otras actividades de speaking o de gramática. Este es puro vocabulary. Así que pueden irlo llenando con las palabras que ya conocemos. Okay. Háganlo en su casita. Then we go here with these sentences. It says transfer the negative sentences into the positive sentences. The only thing you need to focus is on the verb, right? Focus on the verb. So what is the past tense of these verbs, right? That's all you're going to do. If you focus on this, right? We're going to say, for example, right? She bought that computer right she bought that computer because now bought is the saver 
but. So this is connected to the negative. Negative, positive, right? So what is going to be number two? We didn't bring that package. What is the past tense of bring? Mm -hmm. Brought. Brought. Very good. So what's the answer? We? We brought that package. We brought that package. Very good. Joanna, number three. The client didn't call yesterday. Uh, the client call, call it yesterday. Called yesterday. Very good. Jose, number four. The employees didn't read the email. Number four. Jose, okay, Emerson. Jose está dormido ahorita, ajá. Quería apagar el micrófono. Ajá. The employees wrote the email. Road. Road is when you have a horse, like me, or a motorcycle, you rode the motorcycle or the horse, right? So what is going to be here? What's the past tense of read? Past tense of read? Read. read. Red. No, it's red. 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 Exactly. Past tense of read is red. So what's the answer? The employees read the email. Read the email. Thank you. Number five, Bernardo. Our boss came back last week. Came back last week. Very good. Number uh, six, Eugenia. Past tense of didn't cancel, positive, cancel. Mire la Daisy, bien feliz está. Perdón, okay. es que el micrófono. Ajá, Carla. Este, they concert the meeting. They canceled the meeting. Cancel. Repeat. Cancel. They cancel the meeting. Cancel. Cancel. No, cancel is consultoría. Cancel. Cancel. They canceled the meeting. Okay, very good. Very Joanna, good. number seven. One. Joanna? Uh, the lady wanted to complain. The lady wanted to complain. Excellent. And the last one, Vladimir? I sent the refund to this mail. I sent the refund to this mail. Very good. Excellent job. Thank you so much. You see, easy peasy, right? We went there with those exercises. Now, today was, it's the day for uh okay. Carla Eugenia, right? Because yesterday was Carol. Yes, so, teacher. Right. The other ones you can leave. Bye bye. See you see you Monday. Bye bye. Bye teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, Cipotes. Have a beautiful bye. weekend. Bye bye. Enjoy the movies. Bye bye. Good night, Liz. Good night. Bye bye, Tatiana. Bye bye, Elizabeth. Bye, Janira. Bye, Elizabeth. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Okay. Tell me your questions, Carla Eugenia.
Teacher, me he trabado toda en el pasado. Exercise uh -huh. 12 de la sí. tercera unidad. Donde me dice que pase la oración a negativo past tense. Pero lo hago y no, no logro ver dónde tengo el error. Ok. I will show you why. Ok. Eh... Give me a moment. I will show you something here. Um, da, 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 da. On your keyboard, right? On your keyboard where you write, right? What you have to do, give me a moment. Voy a ponerle aquí para compartir. Le voy a usar a dejar de compartir a usted, ¿ok? Yes. Give me a moment. <coughs> On your keyboard, right? You're supposed to be using these words, right? This. ¿Ve esas, esas, esas tres teclas que están ahí? Usted está utilizando la equivocada. Usted tiene que utilizar la que está a la par de donde dice Enter. Que tiene los dos, los dos cositas arriba. Usted tiene que ocupar esa. Y usted está ocupando la que está arriba. O sea, viene la par de Enter. Acá. Es que, espérame que no. No sé si. Es que si lo muevo. Se quita. Vaya, pero ya la vio, ¿verdad? Esa. El apóstrofe es lo que yo estoy es el que está mal. mal. Exacto, el apóstrofe está poniendo mal. Porque si nos vamos a la página ahí de inglés corporativo, inglés corporativo, aquí, ya le voy a mostrar. Le voy a mostrar los dos ejemplos. Eso es lo que yo veo en estos momentos que le está saliendo mal. Ejercicio 12 es, me dijo, ¿verdad? Ya yes, teacher. Que ya le di vuelta a todo y que tengo mal. <risa> Give me a second. Pero, uh, pero como en la tú, yo no he cambiado la forma del verbo, por eso este, lo tengo mal. Ajá, ahí tiene. Pero ahí sí está bien el apóstrofe, entendería yo. Vaya, va, vamos a verlo, no se preocupe. Can you see my computer? It says write the following positive sentence into negative past tense. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. So we have there, right? The first one. What do you have there? Her dog? Her dog did, didn't. Ah, okay. ¿Y cuál es el, el negativo de, de was? No es didn't. Did. No, was es un verbo aparte, le venía explicando. El verbo to be se maneja aparte, es simple past también. Pero es aparte, su estructura es diferente. Ay, sí me poncho, teacher, porque yo, según yo, eso está bien. No, según está los mal. Los ejemplos que he estado, what, what, wasn't. Exactly. Wasn't. Exactly. Ahí sí estamos bien. Her dog wasn't thirsty. Her dog wasn't thirsty. Ahí la Ahí no iría el didn't. No va el didn't porque estamos utilizando el verbo to be. Ok. En en tu sí. En tu sí tendría en que ser sí. I Ajá. did. I Pero didn't. tendría que cambiar el verbo. ¿A qué lo va a cambiar? Así tal cual está found. No. Así se te... el Found es el pasado. Ajá, tendría que pasarlo al presente. ¿Cuál no, lo tiene que pasar a su forma base. No presente. ¿Cuál es la forma base de found? Mm. 
Okay. Irregular verb. Ajá, uh -huh. es an irregular verb. Perfect. Ahí está. Fin. Find. Very good. I didn't find ten dollars on the street. Okay, I didn't find ten dollars on the street. Number three. I el when sigue siendo del to be. No. El to be solo es was y where, señorita. Bueno, 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 Ahí se los acabo de mandar yo, una, li una lista de irregular. Una lista está. ¿Sí? Es que yo tengo una también impresa. Por... En... Aquí está. When. What? This is when. No, teacher, no está. No está el verbo went en lo que les acabo de enviar. No. El be was were. No es el be. Pero, pero no. No es be. No, no. When is go. Es go, exacto. Muy bien, muy bien. Vamos a ver dónde está, dónde está. Ahí. Aquí está. Ajá, Ajá, la tercera. Ok, es go. ¿Y cómo sería entonces el negativo? I... I, I did, did, I did not go. I didn't go. The beach. To the beach. Last week. Uh, go to the beach last week. Last weekend. Perfect, Eugenia. Yay. Very good. Last weekend. And. For, as, el mismo caso uh -huh. de la primera. Uh -huh. I wasn't. I wasn't upset with her. Very good. And the last one? I flee for you. Uh -huh. I didn't. Didn't. Fly. Fly. To San Francisco last year. Last year. Very good. Excelente. Last year. Muy bien. Okay. So now we have yes. the pass, right, for this ones, the beach last weekend. Weekend. Very good. So we submit, perfect, 20 out of 20. Mira, todo salió perfectísimo, right? So eso es lo que tienen que hacer. El apóstrofe, el que estoy utilizando es el que me está, no me está uh -huh. fallando a mí. Exacto. <laughs> Y tiene que ir a revisar también el pasado de los verbos. Los pasados de los verbos. Ajá. Revisa la lista que yo le envié para que no se confunda. No tengo un montón de listas. ¿Ok? Porque se va a confundir. Voy a imprimir esta que nos envió para tenerla a la mano. Sí. Vaya, y me manda una copia. <risa> <risa> practique De nada. Practíquela y practique el pasado. Porque los ejemplos que he estado dando están bien, pero están en presente. Y usted tiene que aprender a relatar su experiencia. Okay. Okay. Perfect, Eugenia. Thanks, Do you have another question? No, porque me, me había quedado aquí. De hecho, hice otras que están más adelante porque yo, ¿y dónde? Y por no seguir ya sumergida en esto porque no le hallaba, uh -huh. mejor seguir avanzando en, la, en las otras. Okay. <laughs> no worries, no worries. A cualquier pregunta. Vaya, yo me dice. Voy a esperar a que la teacher me diga que me toca a mí. Pero voy a preguntar. <laughs> Y ahí aprovecho. Y ahí aprovecho, así es. Perfecto, yeah. ya sabe. Si tiene alguna Vamos. otra pregunta, ahí me dice, ¿ok? Sí, si no, yo le escribo ahí en el WhatsApp grupal y 
Ajá. cualquier cosa, si me trabo. La idea okay. es terminar el fin de semana. Exactly. Very good. Thank you so much, Carla. Bye bye. Gracias, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night.